Hey guys, welcome back to another reading over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to be doing a reading for all you guys born in the year of the snake. It is of course Karmic Wednesdays and on a Wednesday we do the dragon, that positive uh, karmic card. And we do the snake, which is that negative karmic card. So welcome back all you snakes. Let's see what this week's been up to for you or what you've been up to this week or however you want to look at it let's stop that there we will pick one from the bottom one from the middle one from the top what have we got we have got two whites and a black okay so we've got a relatively good start we move into that black card at the end but as i always say the white card doesn't always mean white is all right yay everything's great and black doesn't always mean doom and gloom black is the attack oh no it doesn't work like that um just means things could have been better things could be uh you know things could have been in a more positive place or you could have felt better about it or something could have gone in a little bit more of a way that you would have preferred that's what it is it's more like a preference the white is like something that you would prefer to be going through and it's just the black is a non-preferred option um it's not good or bad it's just a matter of preference and perspective we're going to start off with that rooster card though which is great for you guys because that's in your affinity triangle the snake and the rooster they have a they have a good relationship so this is a good start for you guys i think right now this is um giving you a keen sense of direction you're kind of focusing on what you want you're focusing on what you want to do and you're not impressed at the moment with anybody that's getting in your way or trying to hold you back or basically challenges you don't want challenges you don't want problems get out the way <laughs> basically just get them out the way you find yourself criticizing yourself recently and putting yourself down to not putting you putting yourself down in like a bad way but questioning things and but like i say not in a bad way because you're questioning it and then you're putting things in place to rectify it and to manifest a better outcome or situation for yourself in the future. I think with that rooster card as, a, as that starting card, you can look at potentially some accomplishments coming up, some uh, success. And I think with uh, projects and things that you've started or things that you're getting involved in, things that have gravitated maybe towards you or that you have gravitated towards, you may have questioned, you may have been reserved about. But now you feel it. You feel, yeah, I want this. I'm going to do this. I, I, I'm feeling this because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like, um, you know, you're doing something for you, which you need to do. You need to do stuff for you. You need to respect yourself and you need to uh, give back to yourself, reward yourself, have a little treat now and again. Of course, you're never going to be overly self-indulgent, but it is good to take a rest, take a break, have a holiday, do something like, you know, enjoyable. I think that rooster card there is going to give you that boost of um, sort of confidence and self-esteem. You're going to find yourself maybe even lashing out a little bit. Again, not in like a bad way, but more in a standing your ground kind of way. Um, and that's a better way to put it. You're going to end up standing your ground a lot more than you may have necessarily have done previously to this with in fact people that maybe you previously wouldn't have stood your ground or stood up to um we're gonna move into the ox card look at that another one another one for you because the ox is also another part of your affinity triangle which is um the thinker triangle we are going to be doing a video on that in the future so hit that subscribe button we've already done the first affinity triangle on the dragon the rat and the monkey which is the uh, doer triangle well this is the beginnings of the or the majority of the um thinking triangle obviously the snake's not present yet we don't know what this one is um but you are the snake so with these two cards here we've got the rooster and the ox coming to back you up as that snake you can trust where you are at the moment. You're feeling it, as I say. There, there's a slow start, and it's going to be a steady kind of progressive thing. But you like that, because when it goes slowly, and there's time for you to uh, actually observe it properly, and to analyse it, and to break everything. If everything's moving too quickly that's suspicious to you why is there why is there a big rush why is there why is there a need to to kind of push this or to get this done or you know it's suspicious it's almost like it's too good to be true or somebody's not necessarily doing something right or doing it for the right reasons or doing the right thing um but when it's slow and steady 
you can observe, you can analyse, you can watch, you can, you can kind of, I don't want to say be involved because you would be involved either way, but it's definitely a preferred option for you to be able to watch it and to have that kind of more of an opportunity to think on things. You are the triangle of thinkers after all. You are a thinker. The snake of the three is probably one of the deeper think thinkers. Um, the snake is indeed a, a very kind of intuitive personality. You are a very deep thinker, more so than the ox, but the ox is, I would say, more of a deep thinker than the rooster, but you're all thinking in different ways. It's a different kind of uh, aspect when it comes to that mind work. You would understand that better than anybody else as a snake, that people think in different ways because you endeavour to understand how people's minds work. That's why observation for you is... I suppose, uh, something that you would prefer, prefer to be able to see what is happening. You don't want to hear people talk. You want to see action. And being slow and steady means that you can analyse that. It makes you more comfortable. It makes you more trusting of it, especially when there are responsibilities or, or you know, bigger things at, at hand here. You know, there's other things going on that are quite prominent, not temporary, these could be permanent things and change things for you. And that could go either way. Change things for the good, change things for the bad. If everything's rushed and going too quickly, it's going to make you feel uncomfortable and potentially back out and go, hold up, no, nope, I'm not having this. But right now, you're going at a good speed where you are comfortable, you know? That rooster's there criticising what's going on. The ox is there keeping things going slow and steady. You are not in a position right now where you're going to back down as i've said before you're not interested in challenges you're not interested in problems you're not interested in that you want to see results and you're going to wait around and be patient enough to see these results and you won't be happy until we've got those results there's that monkey jumping in there not the most compatible card in the world for a snake monkeys and snakes don't necessarily get on and it is a negative but it is a doer card things to do i do associate that monkey card um with uh, sort of self-care and uh, looking out for yourself and i think that's really what this is about as i say you're doing things for you it's about self-care but you're not becoming too self-indulgent with it and that's okay but there is calculations to make you're right to be slow and steady you're right to take this um in a speed you're comfortable with you cannot compromise and you cannot be uh, sort of flexible with your own comfortability. If you are, and it makes you uneasy, then you are going to find it hard to trust and, and find things suspicious. And that is going to make you kind of snappy and frustrated and agitated and reserved. And then, and then you start the interrogations. And then you start accusing people. And then you start justifying things and and defending yourself and then in the end before you know it there is a bloodbath um and nobody wants that um nobody wants to see or experience the wrath of a pissed off snake um and i think right now you are in your right mind to observe to see how things go to do things that are for you i think in that, in that kind of rush it mentality, get it done quickly mentality, mistakes will be made. And you know this. Um, and this could be in a relationship. This could be at work. This could be with just your own self work. This could be with any aspect. But observation, taking your time, patience, analyzing it, that kind of constructive criticism for yourself, for that something, for that someone, it is going to be for the best in the long term. If not, you're going to get you're going to get knocked you're going to get knocked back, and that's going to hurt your confidence and your self esteem. And that's why you don't want to be presented by problems. You don't want people keep putting things in your way and and adding more to your plate, more to carry. Why 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 uh why would you be interested in that? Of course, cooperation and communication is always going to be a benefit to all those that you're working around and working with and things like this. But realistically. If they're trying to rush you or they're trying to get you to say sign some paperwork or you guess that's, that's the best way I can put it. Imagine somebody's there going, oh, sign this contract, sign this contract. Come on, sign this contract. You're, you're going to ask why they're trying to rush you when you're trying to read it. It's almost like they don't want you to read it. 
You make sure you read that contract, Snakes, and you make sure you read it good before you sign it and put your name on it. Let's just use it um, in that kind of metaphor and an analogy, analogy, analogy. Um, yeah, read the <laughs> read the small print. That is that is the message there. I think overall is make sure that you're reading the small print, and we'll find out how you guys get on next week when we come back and do another reading next Wednesday for you guys born in the year of the snake. I will be back tomorrow for another reading for the, what is it tomorrow? The horse and the sheep tomorrow. Um, so if you are watching the Chinese Zodiac and just following along for, for whatever reason, um, I will see you then. If not, I will see you next week when I return for the snake. You have a good Wednesday, guys. Thanks for watching. Love and peace.